This is engine 53, incident command. We're on the scene of a bus versus truck on the 5, one mile north of the 110. At least 15 critical inside, ages 15 through 18. Bet you 10 to Angel Face, bet you 10 to Angel Face. Come in, Angel. Answer, your Angel's base. <clears throat> this is Angel's base. Uh, go ahead. Angels, we're on the scene of a school bus versus truck. It's a high school soccer team. Stand by for patient report. Did you say a school bus? Affirmative. School bus versus semi. I've got two DOA already. Uh, make that three. Three DOA. Fifteen critical inside. That's a lot of kids. Angel space, I've got 12 units. We've got incoming. Two units preparing for transport. First wave will reach you in five minutes. I repeat, five minutes. We gotta wake up, Mike. Okay? I need you. I need you to open your eyes. Now. Please, wake up. Yeah, that's it. Do it again. Move your hand again. What's going on? It moves. Uh, his hand moved just, just a little bit, but it moved. That's great. Could be. Great. Could be great? Yeah. It's just, uh, was it voluntary? Mario. Involuntary movements and twitches are not uncommon. He responded to me. I told him to wake up and he moved his hand. I know what I saw. And that's a good sign. Right? Right. You ready? All hands to center stage. All hands to center stage. Chest and abdominal trauma. Pulse us in the field. We got a rhythm in route. Yeah, well, we just lost it again. Strange driver, multiple abrasions and contusion, semi conscious. He's gonna need a head scan when we land. Let's go. He's out. Pulse is ready. Out the PFI, massive facial trauma, lost vitals on scene, been down 20 minutes already. All right, let's get him inside. What's your name? Colton. All right, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear me? Your name's Memorial Hospital. We're gonna take care of you. Colton. You're a kid. Is this the bus driver? No, the bus driver died on scene. That's the truck driver. We're going into their lane head on. Stats are down to 80%. Is there a problem, Dr. Mayer? No, but we should order a talk screen. How he got here is not our concern right now. Focus, you're not in yet. Move it. Coming through. I'm on bet two. James! James! James, hang in there, man. Right, I need you to focus on me now, right? Are you going to die? we got to get him on the bed. He's in cardiac arrest. Oh, I, couldn't, I couldn't stop him. Back boy stuck to one of the straps. Somebody get a pair of scissors. No, no, don't stop compression. Jesse, we need a hand over here. What are they doing to him? Thank you. All right, two, three. Pop that leg back yet. Dr. Peel, 10 milligrams more. No, I've dislocated it before. I don't want to be put under. Just do it. All right. We're at 64%. He's going to code if we go any lower. 64%? What? Drop that pass. I can't get the tube back. All right, all right. Move it, move it. Uh, bag him up, please. I'll take another pass. Elliot, take over compressions. Uh, what are you doing? Why'd you stop? There's, there's brain matter coming out of his ear. What? Dan, that's... I'm gonna call it. Any objections? Time of death, 7 p.m. I'm gonna give you six seconds to process this. And you get your ass outside with me. James! James, hang in there, man! This is their coach. I need a room. Talk him right there. You're standing in your room. Please, somebody help me find my son. Sir? Sir, I need you to stay right here, okay? He's the team captain. You ready? Hang on. And one, two. Ah! Make sure you don't want something to take the edge off. No. Give him half a dose. All right, you took it like a champ. Deep breath. Come on. Okay. Stats, please. 50%. All right, uh, Dr. Commander, I need you to push on the cryo, please. Push right there on his trachea. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, I'm in. Don't stop compressions, not even for a second. Somebody help her. James, James, hang in there, man. Is he gonna be okay? James! Ducks, <laughs> he'll move him out. Once you evaluate that like the blood flow, can you do that? On it. 
How many units are in? Four. Using the bed, not him. There are a dozen kids out there. Hold it. He's not your patient, Doctor. Somebody tell me what's happening. James! What's happening to him? Hey, what's happening? James! James! What's happening to him? Is he dead? James! Okay, whole compressions. Pulse check. Still no pulse. Total downtime. 30 minutes. Got another coming in. Somewhere. Any objections? No. Four ambulances en route. My jacket is a tourniquet. He's in cardiac arrest. I tried to help him. I'm the team captain. I'm sorry, sir. You can't ID any of them. They're all in their uniforms and their IDs are in their gym bags under the bus. Oh, oh. Team where my dad's at. <clears throat> Nobody seems to know where he is. I think he's okay. I, I saw him walk away from it. It's you. Jessamine. Hey. I mean, Charlotte Peel. Read somewhere you became a doctor. Ah! Oh, oh! That still really hurts. Mama, right? That works. Could you maybe come help me over here? That's what I'm here for. Okay. He's complaining of a lot of pain. You relocated to me, right? What? What is it? Dr. Willis? Do you really have to involve him? What's going on? His pulse reduction films were normal. <gasps> it feels like it's on fire. No pulse. I'll give him five more. Well, I, I don't understand. I told you to check for a pulse. I did. I checked twice. Cap refill was brisk. His pulses, they were strong. Well, they're not anymore. Will somebody tell me what's going on? Okay, we gotta get him to an OR. An OR? Why? You've injured the artery in the back of your knee. When you dislocated it, we're gonna take you to the OR and get it fixed right away. Okay. I'll notify the OR. All right, thank you. Nurse, could you prep him for movement? You, come with me. Is that boy gonna kind of lose his leg? Why are you here? Excuse me? Because if it's just a pit stop on the way to your next movie park? No. I am here to practice medicine. Can you answer my question? Is that boy going to lose his leg? Dr. Willis, is here a problem? I'm handling it. He asked me to evaluate a patient's leg for blood flow, and I did. How exactly? I checked his pulses. Dorsalis pedis and posterior tibialis. Textbook exam. What textbook is that? Alfred and Petritus. Excuse me? Emergency procedure by Alfred and Petritus. Another book. Where does it say to check for an arterial injury by just palpating a pulse? Chapter 26, second paragraph. 90% of all patients with arterial trauma will present on pulse check. You remember that? He's not a textbook. In an actual hospital, 10% miss rate is not acceptable. She ordered a Doppler or an ABI. What's the prognosis on the patient? Maybe we caught it in time. I did this, didn't I? That boy is going to lose his leg and it's my fault. No, it's not your fault. Dr. Peel, back to your patient, please. Let me take the chart. Okay. Let me tell you something about that girl. She finished top of her class. Her film career didn't do that for her. She did. She has a brilliant brain. She has a big heart. Maybe I'm just used to military protocols. She's not in the military. She's a first year resident, which means she's not ready for the consequences of a mistake like that. None of us are. Five I need the police out of here. Mrs. Williams' protocol... He's unconscious. Why can't they just leave him alone? Officer, can you give us a minute, please? You know, they're trying to blame him. They don't even know what happened. That's what they're trying to find out. Well, how do they know that the, the bus driver wasn't at fault? Because the bus was still in its lane. Dr. Benita, can you please go see if they have any beds in the ICU? 
he must have just he's going to need to be in place is you. that a crime maybe for a couple because years. he does all these things to try to stay awake right There's he rolls no down the window he, he listens to music he, he calls home to talk to me he would never ever use drugs is that what they think that he did well, whether he did or he didn't it'll come out in the toxicology report well, i am he's telling need you to be, my he... husband is not a criminal he follows all the rules he works so hard he would not be able to bear knowing that he was responsible for people dying because he is a good man he is a good man so you go and tell them that you tell them that he is a good man right now we have to hope that the swelling goes down what are you saying? Is he gonna die? We'll know more in a couple of hours. So why are we repairing the artery with the saphenous vein graft? You mean why are you repairing an artery? I've been holding a retractor for two hours. Are you bored? Yes. My surgeon or nurse. No offense. Well, the jury's still out. I'll let you answer the question. If you can. Superior long-term patency compared to synthetic. Keep going. Hmm. I'm good at this. If you're good at this, then finish suturing the distal end of the anastomosis. Count to five. Mm -hmm. Four. Three. Two. Ready to go. Okay. Let's see what we got. No leaks. Distal blood flow is good. Not good enough. The tissue isn't perfusing. Damn it. It's still night. No, no, no. It's not your fault. We're too late. You restored blood flow to the foot, but it doesn't matter. The lower leg is gone. It's no longer viable. We're going to need to do a BTK amputation. We've got less than six hours to do this. He's only 16. I have to get his father's consent. Close move. Just the lower abdomen. Yeah, my bad stomach cramps. How long has this been going on for? At least a month. I'm tough, though. I have a high threshold for pain. She is tough, that's for sure. You know, there's nothing tough about ignoring the pain you're describing. You're being a very insist, or appendicitis. She's gonna need your analysis, you preg, and a public exam. Got the sugar bear? Yeah, and don't call me that. Uh, I don't think there are stirrups on this table, so if you could just... Place this under your, you know, buttock. Oh, sure. Well, what's a you preg? Pregnancy test. That's what I thought. Well, not pregnant. <laughs> well, all right, and then just pick your legs up all the way. Yep. Okay. Dr. Willis, that's what I thought, isn't it? I have to talk to the father. Get him to sign off on the second operation. I want to go with you. You don't have to do that. No, I want to. I need to. Let's go. Don't get emotional. That's their right, not yours. Mr. Paxton, we know that this has been a lot to take in. But we are going to need your consent. You want me to agree to cut off his leg? He played varsity as a freshman. Scored more goals than anyone in his school's history. And still lead a normal life. You don't get it. He's not a normal kid. He has power, balance, crazy agility. He wants to play in the Olympics. Leaving the leg will only end up in a severe infection. It might threaten his life. I think he would rather die than do what you're asking. We're not asking. We're telling you the consequences of doing nothing here are grave. Yes, yeah. Sally, do it again, Sally. It's time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Sorry, man. I'm I don't speak sure. French. <laughs> Sally. Hold him, would you? Sally, do it again. Do it again, Sally. Sir. Sure. Sir, what is your name? I name? I couldn't tell you what planet he's on. Sally, right? Sally? Who is Sally? I don't know, but I wish he'd get here. Mario, could you give us a hand? I told him I met you a long time ago, Sally. Thank you. Grab that arm. Ow. Okay. Come on. Noah, get it in. I'm trying. Mario Savetti. Sally. What's up, Doc? Mario. Sally. He's getting away. Get him. Someone grab him. Call security. Are they restraints? No, he 
you okay? Is it always like this around here? What are you doing here, Dad? I gotta staple you up. You're gonna need a CT, and you can sleep it off after that. So, how'd you fall? I don't remember. You're unbelievable, you know that? You come in here, I haven't seen you in two years. How you doing in LA anyway? I had some business. Don't be like that. I got a real shot with this one. I just need a little cash, that's all. <laughs> so I'm the business, huh? No, this is the real deal. How many times you ask me for money? I'll tell you. Every time you show up out of nowhere to say hi, I'll check back in on you a little bit. I'll pay you back. You'll never be able to pay back what you owe me. Hope this doesn't leave a scar. Oh, please, this is nothing. You should see the one on my back. I got it from kick flipping a nine stair. I skate. I imagine you're not talking about figure skating. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey, that's a Langley Academy class ring. It's a private school in L.A. I know a million people who went there. Is there a name on it? Got it. Our patient has a name. My first boyfriend went there. And I dated a girl from there. Two, actually. No first initial? Nope. What are you doing? I'm on the Langley Academy alumni page. There are three of them. Here. Mark Goddard. Class of 07, 26 years old. Yearbook, jazz band, acapella group. Lame. You got an address? No, but hang on. Here we go. He has a Facebook page. Damn, it's private. But we have three friends in common. Okay, I'm texting one of our mutual oh, friends. That's quite a coincidence. Oh, it is isn't. Have you ever been on Facebook before? <laughs> She's been worried about him. She's going to his page. Hang on. Hang on. He hasn't posted anything in a year. But his brother's tagged him in a bunch of posts saying he's been missing. Oh, what's his brother's name? Brian. Brian Goddard lives in L.A. Millennial out. Excuse me? Mario. Mario. You know, you give off a really panicked vibe. You should work on that. I know. I'm sorry. Don't well, apologize. Tell them why you panicked. Uh, best CT scans came back. Yeah? Prostatitis. She has prostatitis. What are you talking about? Wake up and smell the estrogen. She's trans? But you examined her pelvis. How did you not know she was a dude? Because she isn't a dude. She's a woman, dude. Tell him, sugar bear. I really don't want this sugar bear to become a thing, okay? Oops, too late. Come on, both of you. We're gonna talk to her together. Thanks for getting here so fast. Thank you for finding me. How long has it been since you've seen him? Over a year. He's schizophrenic. He goes off his meds and he disappears. It's terrifying. We put him on antipsychotics, but it'll take some time. Mark. Oh, my God. It's terrible. Hey, Park, hey, it's Brian. We had to sedate him. It wouldn't matter. When he's this far gone, it's like he wouldn't recognize me anyway. It's like having your brother and not having him at all. Did you happen to figure out who Sally is? Nothing to figure out. <laughs> Meet Sally. Hey, Mark. Look what I found. I guess I should have said something. It's just when I do, that's all people want to talk about, especially doctors. Look, I was never meant to be a man. That's all I know. That's it. End of story. Well, unfortunately, there's still parts of you that are. Really? Did you have your appendix out, Doc? Or do you still carry around that useless evolutionary artifact? Doesn't make you a Neanderthal man, does it? Actually, the appendix got some newfound respect recently. Okay, both of you, just shut up. Thank you. I'm sorry. The only point I'm trying to make is the surgery didn't remove your prostate. Now it's infected. We need to put you on intravenous antibiotics. Prostate? Rose. Rose, listen. It's still me. I'm still me. And I was gonna tell you, I was when? just... I was just waiting for the right time, I swear. Uh, can, can you try and take this a moment? No, it's okay. I'm leaving anyway. Rose. 
What are you doing now? Scanning his abdomen to rule out additional trauma. When is he going to get his ICU bed? I called. Maybe in a couple hours. What's going on? VTAC arrest. We need to shock him. Thank you. Heads, please. Ready to shock? Shocking now. Back at sinus rhythm. So is he going to be okay? Hold on. Unfortunately, he has poor ventricular wall motion. He's in cardiogenic shock. What, what does that mean? The brain trauma put too much strain on his heart. He's not going to make it, is he? Hang pressers. Put a drip on him. Uh, order a formal echo. Is there someone you'd like for us to call? Oh, my God. Where is he? Yes, it's an emergency. What's going on? He's calling different hospitals. He wants a second opinion. No, no, don't put me on hold. Son, you've got to trust us. We are your second opinion. Dad, I don't want him in here. Can I talk to you outside? You have to stop this right now. It's not that simple. His leg will become infected and necrotic in the next few hours. A few hours after that, he becomes septic and he dies. Is that simple enough for you? You need to be a father right now. I can send it, okay? But you have to make him do it. You're the doctor. I can't do it. I can't. For the rest of his life, he'll know me as the guy that convinced him to take his leg off. Please. Where's my dad? I needed to talk to you alone. I'm kind of busy. Put the phone down. You don't like to give up, do you? I bet that's what you told them before every game. We never quit. And you never lost a game. I'm sorry you've lost this one, Holton. It's over. It's time to start a new game. It's going to be tougher than the one you've been playing. But if you work hard enough, you'll learn to be just as good at it. You'll still be a hero to your team, your father, and to anyone who sees what a man can do after the worst has happened and they still never give up. You're their captain. They need you to show them the way. Kidding? This is gonna be great. How you feeling, Dad? Take him inside and get him prepped. What the hell was that delay on this kid's original surgery? The arterial injury didn't present until later. How does that happen? The Doppler didn't pick it up? I only checked a manual pulse. What? Where did you train? West Point Harvard Med. Learned a tourniquet in the Boy Scouts. I screwed up. Sorry. Mm. Oh, you should be fired. You can't fire me. I don't work for you. Okay, no, you should fire me. Dr. Peel. No. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've been treated special my whole life. I don't want that here. It was my mistake. I only checked a manual pulse. You're not to say a word to that family, understand? You keep quiet until I've spoken to counsel and until pathology checks out that leg. That'll be all, Dr. Peel. He's just a kid. 
We made a grown-up mistake that may have cost our patient his leg. Not to mention put us in the crosshairs of a lawsuit. I just try to protect her. It doesn't help her. Or you. We'll call your commanding officer. Please do. Maybe they'll send me back where I belong. was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy, they say he wandered very far, very far, over land and sea, a little shy, and sad of eyes. Very wise was he. Look, I got two doctors that didn't know. And one of them did a pelvic exam. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah, she is. We've only been together for a couple months, but I was falling so in love. You know, a lot of different people come here every day, hundreds, on the worst day of their lives, and they all have one thing in common. They need another human being to care for them. You know what that taught me? We are all exactly the same. Every single one of us. Well, I've been trying to figure out how to tell her I'm not really 38. Well, this might be a good time. Bladder catheter is in place now. Sorry if that was painful. Um, shouldn't that liquid be yellow, like urine? It's pus. Oh my god, that's, that's all pus. Wait, what do you mean, pus? Uh, infection. It's it's infection. Don't worry, okay? I, I got this. You need to calm down, okay? I'm totally calm. Really, I, I am. Oh, yes. Beth. I felt like this. Beth, Beth, stay with me. Stay with me, okay? You're going into septic shock. I need to get you to center stage right now. BP, 60 over 40. 60 over 40. I need help. Your CT scan is clean. Couple of samples and I'm good to go, huh? Hmm. I should have gone to an office supply store. Someone's got to take them out in a week. Go to Office Depot if you want. Have you had a chance to think about what I said? I don't need very much. You got to stop drinking. Oh, so now you're going to preach to me, huh? I changed. I grew up. No idea who I am. I'm the only one who does, pal. Come on, Mario. I need suction! Come on, suction! What's going on? Probably bleeding varices. Uh, he needs ONAG and FFP. BP's down to 72 systolic. He has no veins. We need access now. BP for pressure's down to 56. We'll place an intraosseous line. Right. Transfuse the blood directly into the bone. Uh huh. Okay, I'm in. Put that top on. Okay. Come on. Okay, give me blood. Come on. Get this coming up. 84 over 45. Okay. Sorry. Start at PPI drip. Let the GI lab know we'll be open time. Pharisees. His liver's failing. That's what happens when you're an alcoholic. Hey guys, map of 40, gotta do this. 
She has no veins. It's as if they've all shrunk. That's sepsis, Dr. Dixon. The invading bacteria is ripping billions of holes in the vessel walls. I'm nanometers away. I, I just, I can't thread this thing. How long have you been here? Truth is, she's been here since before we could treat TB. You were before the plague. Tell them about the last thing. Caveman? I meant today. The shift. Actually, it's been a couple of shifts. Every vein I get in blows once I enter it. Pressure's dropping. Guys, I'm going to need a bigger line here. No, the anatomy's better on your side. I'm going to come look. I keep reinserting. The vessel keeps migrating. Can you give it a shot? I'm going to try and enter it. Smidge inferiorly. You're in. You want pressers? Yes, sir. Dr. Dixon, have a nurse hang a bag of norepinephrine. Thanks. Sometimes success is just a fresh pair of eyes. Okay, Jesse, hang the pressure bag, please. You got it, Daddy. I keep hoping they'll put in something edible one day. Where's Charlotte? She carries around these rad trail mix bars. She went upstairs. She wanted to talk to that kid who lost his leg. You're kidding me. Is that a problem? Huge one. You may feel what's called phantom sensations. It can hurt, but there are things we can do to help. Mirror box therapy, nerve cuff stimulation. Are you my doctor now? One of them, yeah. Listen, hold it. I haven't up. looked at it yet. I'm really scared, too. I don't want to do it in front of my dad. So do you, do you mind? Of course. Here we go. That, that is shocking. <laughs> Bad for my dad. His plane is so cool. And he's devastated. He had such high hopes for me. I need to tell you something. Charlie, okay. I'm sorry to bother you. They need you downstairs. It's an emergency. You want to end your career right here, right now. I'm not letting you do it. You said you wanted a friend. This is your friend talking. So everything's OK? Went well, right? Yeah, she's gonna be fine. She's on broad spectrum antibiotics. I'm a virgin. Well, we, Are you kidding? We didn't need to know that. Well, maybe that contributed to this whole thing. I don't know. Maybe when I was doing her pelvic exam. No, 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 no. no. I... You're being ridiculous. Okay. I got patience to see. Come on, sugar bear. Take a walk. Is he responding to pressures, Dr. Minnett? No. Alice asked that we take his breathing tube out to make him more comfortable. He said my name a while ago. He'll go in and out of consciousness. I just don't want him to be in any pain. He won't be. Did he get the toxicology report back? Yes, I did. Alice. Alice. Yes, Dan, I'm right here, sweetheart. That was an accident. I was in an accident. Yes. Did I hit someone? Penny, just try to relax right now. Did anyone die? No. No one died. Just get some rest. Dr. Rush. 
Why did you do that? The tox report was positive for amphetamines. You've always told us, don't lie to a patient. So why do it now, especially to him? I don't know. He's already paying the ultimate price. I decided to choose Grace. Liver disease. Caused the veins in your esophagus to swell and bleed, and you almost died. We stopped the hemorrhaging, but we're gonna have to watch you for a little while. Well. You think you're better than me, don't you? Well, you're not. You're a fake and everybody knows it. Such a disappointment. Yeah, well, right now I'm your doctor. Got a minute? Sure. Quinn and guys. This is Captains Quinn and Gibson, the U.S. Army Medical Corps. New prosthetics department. It's a Pentagon program. They are totally revolutionizing this stuff with state-of-the-art solutions. Can we slow down, please? He needs a little bit of time. What's that one? Oh, this one? Totally amazing next-generation robotic arm. It's 26 joints. Can curl up to 45 pounds. Control it with your mind. Just like a regular arm. But I need a leg. We got legs. We got lots of legs. Captain Quinn? Yeah, antibiotics are working. And by the way, you're not pregnant in case you're worried. Very funny. So explain it to me. You're a um, straight man who became a woman, and now you're a lesbian. I mean, that's it, right? I've always loved women. That didn't change when I became one. And you know, it's not that complicated. You make it sound like it's the Pythagorean theorem. Hey. I get it. Some people don't understand who I really am either. But don't they understand? Everything. Hi. Gosh, do you knock? It's a curtain. And I'm sorry. It's a lot to take in. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you I was just scared. I wanted you to see me as me. And not someone the world used to think was a man. How could I see you as you if you don't let me in? Oh, why I love you? Because you're the first person I've ever met who makes me feel like me. Don't I do that for you? Of course. Wait. Did you just say you love me? Yes, Tommy. I love you too. Even in a war zone, we slept. Good night, Dr. Willis. Charlotte gonna make it? I don't know. You know, like Campbell Dumper? I didn't say that. You asked if she was gonna make it. How many cadets drop out of Navy SEAL training? Seven out of ten. That's the way it should be. Stakes are too high for it to be any different. You're the one who said she had what it took to get here. She does. 
Now we have to see if she has what it takes to stay. What about you? What about me? Why are you here? I owe the Army two years. They've decided to park me here until my tour is over. Why? Long story. I'm not giving up on Charlotte. Good. Nighty night. Nighty night. Dr. Peel. You made it. Would you give us a minute? You okay? I don't feel right being here. He's gonna talk to his team and he wants his doctors with him. But I'm the reason that we're here. His leg was crushed. Nothing you could have done would have changed that. Still. Guys, are you coming? Dr. Peel, your patient's asking for you. Nice guys. How can he be disappointed? You're a doctor. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode.